My jabs have never really been the best, but Tony Jeffries here is one of the best boxing coaches. So I got some crucial tips on how to use my jab more effectively from Mr. Tony Jeffries, and at the end of the video, I'll be utilizing them on the mats. Were the fundamentals of my jab pretty solid? Fundamentals were good, yeah. Okay. I, was, I, was, I was happy with that, it was good. Let me see where we are. Yeah, that's not bad. It's obviously how we improve. Are you a little bit tight? Okay. We relax it a bit. That's it. Maybe you just start to a little bit. Yeah, better. Okay, so you get a bit longer. Yes, much better. So he's got a pretty good job. And I'm, and I'm pretty impressed. But the only problem is, is it wouldn't land in a, in a fight. And I want to work on that right now and show him exactly how to land a punch if he was in a fight. Yeah, so the fun the job when you're moving backwards is great. So it can kind of get you out of danger. If someone's pulling a flurry of punches coming at you, rather than just moving back with your hands up and letting them punch, if you can just get that jab out there, yeah. it just keeps them thinking and that can stop them in their tracks. To improve the jab, again, it's more than just back, yeah. fast. And then all to the defense after the jab. And right there is the best defense that you can do against the jab or against any punch. This. Yeah. So now you're not moving. Yeah. Okay. Moving back. Bum, bum. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah, it's good. Again. Yeah. Try and stop. Keep this tight. Okay. <laughs> As Tony and I worked through these last bits of movements, we talked about the importance of being able to move and jab at the same time. The jab can be super fundamentally sound as you throw it, standing still, but as you start to move around, things tend to deteriorate. You tend to lose technique with the movement. So it's important that you move while you throw the technique. So when you when you anyone can throw a good fast solid jab like you were doing, yeah. But that's not going to be able to land if you were in a fight or sparring session. You need to make it unpredictable. So by doing a little feint before, yeah, I don't know what you're going to throw if you want to throw it or not. So that's makes it unpredictable. So I want you to steer outside of the line. I want to feint, then jab. Okay. Watch me now. <laughs> Now this is great, we're less predictable. To get even more less predictable, you want to move in between. I want this. So now I'm moving. Feel it good. Feel it good. Both good. Yes. Yeah. Good. Now I want a little bit of movement. I want to feel that other job. Yeah. Yes, good. Feel. But even those faints screw you up enough to like yeah. <laughs> and not land my own jab. No, I will punch you in the head. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> if there's anything I'm good at, it's, it's at not being close enough to punch or get punched. <laughs> yeah, good. Now what I want to do, I'm going to parry this. I'm going to throw a jab strip out of here. So I'm going to jab. You're not going to move your feet this time. You're going to parry, and then throw another jab. So do it slowly. So jab, parry. Yeah. Yeah, again. It's crazy that you found that because that's definitely a weak point of mine. Well, I, I'm good at striking and getting out. I'm worse at striking, getting out, and then getting back. In. You can off of that, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna pull up one too, so make sure you go. Okay. Yeah, get away, get away. Yeah. And then also, you mentioned like distance? Yeah, the distance. If, if your jab is halfway out and it's only traveling half the distance, it's gonna get there twice as fast. Especially if you're thinking about speed as well. The yeah, punch yeah. is not gonna be as hard but when we're not focusing on power, that's fine. We're focused on speed, so halfway out, boom, and back. Yeah. yeah. But you've always, obviously always got to be aware of your defense when you're doing this. So if my hand's out here, right, you get there faster. Yeah. So just get this hand out a little bit, then go. Yeah. Yes! Ooh. Yeah, do it more, do it more, do it more. Yes! Yes! Good. So that's one way to punch 
faster. Yeah. Yeah. Distance. Yeah. Less, less distance. And then if we're in the ring and we're fighting, yeah. then that's their fault. Yeah. She's touching us. It's not hurting us. It's not powerful. Yeah. But it's getting in my mind. It's making me think, whoa, he's going to this chap. And it's setting the range for your punch as well. Yeah. So fast. Yeah. So fast. Yes! Yeah! Now that jab right there is twice as fast as, as you see. It, it feels a lot faster. Because, because you're you what? Thinking about it. Yeah. So when you think about it, you put it out there, oh, you get so much speed. My jab, which is like supposed to be like a super safe, like secure thing, it's the thing that I fail myself with the most. Right. Like as I'm moving around, being able, I want to like just pop a jab out and it's not like the best jab that I've thrown. Yeah. And the only way you want to get better at that is by practicing, doing rounds on rounds of just working on your jab. <laughs> We talked about speed. The speed, like yeah. thinking harder, faster. Yeah, if you if you want to punch faster, think about it. Think, think about what you're gonna do. Think about when you before you throw a job, think about what you want to achieve. Yeah. You want to achieve speed. So yeah. think about the speed and that's gonna really help you get that speed in the punch. Perfect. So by doing a little feint before, yeah. I don't know what you're gonna throw, if you're gonna throw it or not. So that's making it unpredictable. So a feint and then fast throw the jab straight after that. Yeah. So that's one way of going. That makes sense too. And also if, if you're if it's unpredictable, it also maybe doesn't have to be as perfect as like the jabs that I was trying to throw without moving. Yeah, yeah, they don't they, they don't know what's gonna come. So yeah, I think that's a great thing to do is to faint all the time. Yeah. And then the other thing what we went over was the head movement as well. So another thing, if you're thinking about your defense, it's less chance of someone's going to be able to hit you. Yeah. So keep out, but, but, and the speed will increase. That's just going to make it even more or less predictable. If you look at a fighter like Tyson Fury, who's the heavyweight world champion right now, he's amazing at this. He's yeah. always moving his head, he's always feeling with his hands, and his opponents don't know what's going to come. Yeah. So when you're moving your head before and after every punch, every jab, and then feeling as well, your opponent's got no idea what you're going to do. Awesome. If you want more in-depth boxing education videos from me, check out my YouTube channel where I teach you just about everything. Yeah, yeah, literally the best fundamentals you're gonna find on boxing on YouTube, 100%. Okay, let's go.